So in my routine um, muscle um, testing um, examination, I will examine uh, 13 muscles uh, back to back to have an idea of uh, what's going on in a patient who, in whom I suspect a nerve entrapment. So I'm gonna show you the whole sequence uh, pretty quickly. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna test the uh, pectoralis muscles. So make a fist. So I'm trying to bring her arms apart and she's resisting, she's strong. Now I'm gonna do the opposite and test the posterior deltoid muscles, spread them apart. Hard, hard, push, 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 push. Okay, she's strong. Now as I'm here, I'm gonna test the extensor carpial nares, which would be suggestive of a radial nerve entrapment. So she's deviating the wrist ulnarly and I am pushing in the radial direction and she's resisting. Same thing on the other side. Ulnar deviation and I'm trying to bring her to deviate radially. She's very strong. As I'm here, we're gonna test the wrist extensors on both sides. One, two, she's symmetrical, very strong. So now, from this position, we go to the uh, 90 degree uh, flexion of the elbow. And I wanna, tell, I wanna test the infraspinatus muscles by have her, having her doing an external rotation against resistance. So I'm gonna push here like I would in a scratch collapse test. And she's gonna push as hard as she can, and I can feel that the power is symmetrical on both sides. So now from here, I wanna test the FCR, flexor carpi radialis and flexi, flexor carpi ulnaris. So I'm gonna have her bend her elbow, bend the wrist in the direction of the shoulder, and I'm using my left arm on the forearm, my right hand on her uh, fist, and I'm gonna try to extend, uh, extend her wrist against resistance, and she's very strong, so I know her FCR is strong, so now I'm gonna test the FCU. So I'm having her deviate her wrist towards the, the head of the uh, clavicle, the collarbone, and I'm gonna repeat the maneuver, uh, and she's very strong, so I know her FCU is fine. At this point, I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna test the biceps and brachialis muscles. So I'm gonna have her lift me up the floor and she's very strong. At this point, I'm gonna test her triceps muscles. So I'm gonna have her extend her elbows against resistance. So one, two, three. Okay, I know the power is symmetrical. So from here, I want to know about the median uh, nerve innervated muscles. In particular, the FPL, um, so I'm going to try to extend that IP joint against resistance, and she won't let me, so let's see. One, two, three, there's no weakness there. I'm unable to extend that joint. So I'm gonna test the uh, DIP joint of the index finger. Again, with my thumb and index finger, I'm trying to extend the DIP joint, and she will resist as hard as she can. Resist, make a fist, go, 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 go. And she's very strong, no problem there. Now I'm gonna test the same thing for the, uh, the, the flexor, uh, the, D, the uh, FDP of the small finger. Make a full fist. And she's very strong there, no problems. Um, that would be indicative of ulnar nerve pathology. And now what I wanna do is test her ADM. So I'm gonna have her spread her fingers like this, or I can do it sideways so you can see better. And I'm gonna try to bring her fingers together and she will resist as hard as she can and she's very strong, no pathology there, no problem. And obviously I would do the same thing on the other side. So this is the uh, muscle uh, testing I would do um, in any patient in whom I suspect that there might be a peripheral nerve entrapment.